Greetings! I am Cross Knights, and I say this every time before I do an RPG. I might be completely crazy for doing this, but I've been talking about this game... I mean, I haven't talked about it for a while, but I had been talking about doing this game for a very long time, possibly after I did, like, Super Mario RPG. Uh, maybe after I did Final Fantasy VII, but that was a long time at this point. But anyway, this is, in fact, Earthbound, the war against Gygas. Though, this is, um a little bit of a misleading screen as far as I'm concerned because just the style of this screen doesn't match the rest of the game and I don't understand why there's this intro screen because it's an intro screen in front of an intro screen here is the true intro screen Earthbound from 1995 that's when it was released here 20 years ago which is crazy for me to think about, because I'm not going to say that makes me feel old. There's a lot of things that make me feel or more old than remembering a game from 20 years ago. You know, like remembering a game from the, the same year that I was. Um, yeah, this is a 2D uh, turn-based RPG. I guess that's the best way to describe it. 2D turn-based 16-bit Super Nintendo era RPG. Very quirky. Um, it's gained a little bit of cult fo following now, but like back when I played it, uh, which I guess was, I mean, that's around when the PlayStation started coming out, I think is when I started playing it. Not a lot of people have heard of it, and I think the only reason a lot of people have heard of it is because of Ness, the character that was riding onto that bike, is one of the characters in Super Smash Bros., and has been in Super Smash Bros. since the very first one, but this is the game that he originates from. It is a, uh, it's an RPG, it's not a fighting game, and... Like, Yoshi Tokikage was actually going to play this and beat it for me, because I mentioned, like, three, two or three years ago that, uh, I, I was watching someone play it, and then they never beat it. They never, they didn't finish the, they stopped at, like, the second to last episode, so he said he'd beat it. And I told him not to, because he wouldn't be able to, because it was too big and crazy. And, uh, then he, I, I, I estimated that he was going to complete the game around, um, 18 months to never. And my prediction has come true. Even if he completes it now, it will still be within that time frame. So, I think I've given him enough time. <laughs> I think it's time to pick up the mantle myself. Um, I, I love this game, though. It's great. I it it has a little bit of a of a curve, though, as far as because the first like part of the game, I as far as I'm concerned, is the hardest part of the game. But we're gonna rock this, and we're gonna rock it hard. Um, now I have to decide what flavor of Windows I prefer. <laughs> I, I feel like, I'm, like, as far as I, I want to get fancy, but if it, like everything else is like blurry, this is nice and sharp and crisp. And I don't know why the other ones aren't sharp and crisp, but boom! So you get to name every single player in this game, and I, I usually don't keep default names, so I'm going to name the main character Cross. Let me think. I mean, maybe I should name him something different. That's only because in Earthbound 3, I, there, like, there's these two twins that you name, and I usually name them Cross and Chris, because Chris Cross. <laughs> so that's the only reason I was considering not naming him Cross, because what if I ever play that game? Do I really want them to have the same names? Probably not, but too bad. <laughs> Let, let's not uh, base this on future possibilities. Yeah, yeah, this will work. Um, his actual name is Ness, and that is... Um, Nintendo Entertainment System, you see that? Alright, I already know what I'm naming her. Excellent, this is always this has all been planned. Um, although, I, I'll show that on the next character. Alright, name your friend. Uh, if you click Don't Care, it'll give you the default name first. And you can keep on clicking it and it'll just give you suggestions. Um, I think I might actually leave him as Jeff, however. Uh, when Yoshi played this, and I guess I'll, I'll, I'll link to his first video, I suppose. But, um, <laughs> when he played this, he named me, uh, you named me this character, and he's like, Oh, you get to be the nerd, and I was like, it's, it's awesome. This character is actually amazing. Has, uh, the capability of doing more damage than any other character, really. Because he can use certain gadgets. But we'll just leave it as Jeff. Alright, see, now this, this character, his default name, Pooh. Terrible name. I never pick Pooh. I've picked Kai before. Omar's pretty cool. That's just because I've been watching The Wire. I think, however, I'm going to name him... Faye. That's what I usually name him, after Faye Wong Fong, the 
main character in um, what should we call it? Xenogears, one of the other uh, RPGs that I did, which was the most ridiculous project I've ever undertaken on this channel. Uh, this is my dog. I think I'll name him Yoshi. That just that name just came out on the top of my head. You know, it's, it's weird. <laughs> All right, what is your favorite homemade food? Um, I mean, I got it. I bet it's here. It has to be here, right? Seriously? Everyone know? I, it's not even a question here. And I could say sushi, couldn't I? I it should be. It's got to be pizza, though, right? I mean, how could it not be pizza? Well, what? Of course, it's pizza. <laughs> and what is your favorite thing? Now, this, I feel, is actually the most important thing in the game, and I actually I, I didn't think about this hard enough. I should think about it. Uh, you know, I wanted to put justice, but I was one letter short. So now I'm putting agony. You would think these are weird things to pick as your favorite thing, but that's because I'm not really picking my favorite thing. You'll see what I am picking later. All right, Cross, Zoe, Jeff, Faye, Yoshi, favorite food, pizza, coolest thing, agony. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah! That intro song is like my favorite in the game, too. The music in this in general is, is pretty memorable and great. The, the graphics were just... I, I like them. They have this weird quarter perspective. It's the year 99X. You know it's 1999. All the bad things always happen in 1999. That's what games they just want to be like in the not too distant future. All right, Onet, a small town in Eagleland. This house doesn't look like it takes place in the city proper. Ah, cross his eyes. It's my house. We live a little bit away from the city, it seems. Well, I'm awake. <laughs> that was a large cry. I am, I'm styling, uh, some pajamas, it looks like. I sleep with weird slippers on, I guess. I sleep with slippers on? Oh, it's, it's weird. Oh, it, the interface is a little bit archaic, I think. Like, even for the time. It seemed more like a computer point-and-click at parts. Is there something crazy? Oh, my sister's up and dressed. Hey, bro. Did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Yeah, why are you fully... Well, she's just up in the middle of the night. Maybe she has insomnia. They never really go over it. It's possible. My mother's up also. What was that noise? Cross, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And you want to go check it out? Okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. There we go, this is the nest we all know. Baseball cap, backpack, weird striped shirt, red shoes, ready to rock. Who are you talking to? No problem here. Yeah, you can check out for like different items and stuff. They usually don't find anything in non-obvious places, but sometimes there'll be like a drawer. You could check it out and you might find an item. It's possible. And let's see, I have HP MP, or PP as it is called. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? I don't know, Yoshi. I got a, I got a job to do. No one's on the phone. Alright, we're gonna check it out by myself. Just a kid. Because my mother's negligent, kinda. Well, obviously something is happening. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Um... I mean, if a meteorite hit really close, you know. I don't know why they closed the road, though. That is a little bit weird. Onet police are infamous for closing roads if something is going on. We're going for the world record. Don't panic. It's just, uh... What? Meteorite that... Who? Fell? 
I just wanna... What? Go home! Well... <laughs> at least they kind of, uh... <laughs> explained the road blocking, I guess, but not really. Did you hear that big bang? I think the meteorite landed nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. By running in place, weirdly. Alright. Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home. So I'm home watching our house. Mom and Dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. Fair enough. I don't know how that kid sees with his hair over his head. But, I don't really feel like asking him. Now, how do I get over there? I don't <laughs> I don't think it was this way. Also, is there a run button? Because I just found the stat page. Um, no, I guess there isn't a run button. I don't remember these things. I guess we'll follow the path, because this road has not been blocked off by the police. Though there is a police over here. Oh, there's actually... Alright, so L-Trigger is a quick button to check or talk, so I can just hit that instead of going to talk. talk. Don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home, pronto! Nah, what are you going to do about it? A meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around and... I'm hungry! I hate my job! Poor... poor baby. <laughs> it's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? Nope, the game will not progress if I don't do it. Ignoring the police who are blocking the way to town, but not the way to the meteor for some reason. Hey you, don't you know what time it is? Nope. N night time? It's not so late that my little sister's not asleep, so it can't be that late, right? That's my logic. Cross open the present. There's a bread roll inside. Cross takes it. So the presents, when you find them, they're basically treasure chests. Makes a little bit more ch sense than treasure chests lying around, but not much more. Hey, Cross. Hiya, buddy. The meteorite fell down and went boom! It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also wanted to tell you... Ooh. <laughs> I almost told you about my... Um... By the way, Cross... Did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Treasure Hunter. Layer X Argarid's house. Alright, that's, that's, that's a fine, fine sign, I guess. That meteorite looks different than usual. Strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ugh. What do you mean, than usual? How many meteorites have you seen? I don't think I'm going to get past there. I'm going to see the meteorite from here, I guess. Yeah, what are you doing? Nice timing. Cross, will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. You two are friends? I don't guess so. And you live in the house next to his, I see. What happens if I say no? No. You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here! <laughs> shh, shh! What? Why? Clear out, get out of my way, 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 clear of, get out of my way, oh, my mistakes, I mean, get out of my way! Hey, Cross. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cop's, oops, I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. You can go home now. All right. I don't. I guess. Uh, I guess I can go home now, <laughs> cause uh, Pokey said so. All right. I'll walk all the way back home. Looks like my mother's already waiting for me. Welcome home, Cross. It's not necessary to talk about tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Oh, Cross, you don't understand the importance of a good night's sleep. Uh, is it because I hit cancel? What? <laughs> I said yes. Let me try that again. 
Uh, I guess it's because I hit the wrong button. Later that night. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. I hope... I, I hope I don't have the, the volume down too low, but I've actually tried to knock on people's doors like this before. <laughs> it's not easy, but it's also not impossible. My land! Who could be knocking at this time of night? Would you answer it? Yeah, no, just have your son answer the mysterious door. It could be anyone. I've got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm going to lie still for now. Hey, l l listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, <laughs> good evening, man. You're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks. They're those local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed Picky was gone. <laughs> blame the... I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Alright. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? I, I say let's blow this popsicle stand sometimes. I think this is where I got it from. I was an impressionable child. I know that that dog is unreliable, but you should take Yoshi along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could help out in a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Look, she just knows that I'm the protagonist of this game, so she isn't going to try to stop me. In fact, she's telling me where to get weapons. Cracked bats. You know why it's cracked? Because in my fight for justice, I probably slammed it over some fool's head. Alright, and there is a cracked bat inside. Cross takes it. So, I want to go to equip. We're going to go to weapons and go to the cracked bat, which will change my offensive capability from 2 to 6. Sounds about right. You're triply as effective when you have a baseball bat than when you just punch someone. Why not? I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. My family's awesome. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. You want me to hang on something? No, just, just be careful. <laughs> yeah, sure. You're cool. Whatever. What? That's always a weird line to me. Do you want me to go along with you? No. No, oh, I get it. You just wanted to talk to me because I'm so lovable. Actually, I do want you to come. <sighs> I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Yoshi joins you! Alright. Alright. You go at the front, and I'll follow from a safe distance. Let's get going. Pokey joins you! Yeah. Yeah. Let's. Let's fight. Yeah! Oh. Guess I'll get that. Look at the old school rotary phone from 20 years ago. Cross answered the telephone. Hello? It's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited 30 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. <laughs> ah. 
Well, all right, so your father you never actually meet, but he's always on the phone for you. He saves your game. And they have an interesting system for money in this. Like, when you kill monsters, you don't, like, find gold on them or anything. It's just your father will deposit the amount of money that you would have gotten from that monster. And there's a dog! So, similar to Chrono Trigger, um, all of the enemies appear on the world map first. And then you engage them and the actual battle starts. The battle, however, unlike Chrono Trigger, all takes place uh, through text. Now, some people might think that's lame, but because of that, they can do weird things, like describe what's happening. Uh, like, Pokey apologizes profusely. That might be hard to do visually, but when you type it out, you can do whatever the hell you want. So, there's an item in this game called the Toothbrush, and it's a toothbrush, and I just leveled up. Um, but the description is like, you take out the toothbrush and brush your teeth, and then the magnificently... And then the magnificently shining power of your bright teeth blinds the enemy and they can't move. Like, again, I guess you could show all that, but it's just... It, it, it might be confusing, like, I don't know. You could talk about how a character feels sorrow, and... See, I'm trying to think of something that can't be visually shown, and each time I say this, I'm like, no, they can animate that. But now we're talking about, like, hundreds of different animations. You could have, like, so many items because you don't need to animate them. You can just talk about them. So, I don't know. You just gotta use your imagination a little bit. Um, this part of the game is a little bit weird, because, like, there's Yoshi. He just attacked and did damage. But I don't control him. Pokey acted all innocent. <laughs> like, 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 there, that one. How would they animate acting all innocent? I don't know. Um... But yeah, this part of the game is weird because you have party members that, like, aren't real party members. Like, you don't control them. They just do weird things. And there's a few other times in the game where you have party members like this. But, uh, usually uh, you can control everyone in the party. Now, you notice there's a swirl thing that happens. And it's been blue each time. Blue means that you have a neutral engagement. So that means we're both attacking at the same time. The person who attacks first is based on, uh, speed. But if a enemy attacks... Oh, crap. That crow just stole my cookie. And now he's pecking at my eyes. Um, Uh-oh. I gotta kill him. No, this is bad. Oh. He's got a, <laughs> he's got a big crayon in his face. Yes, smash! I got a critical hit. Um, the crows will sometimes steal things and then fly away. If they fly away, you just lost the item that they stole. But, um... Yeah, I, I just got it back. <laughs> if you kill them beforehand, you will always get the item back. But yeah, I don't remember what I was talking about before, because the crow confused me. Oh yeah, um, if they attack you from behind, it's a red. It's a red swirl. And they will get the first round of attacks, regardless of speed. Uh, conversely, and this is very hard to do, but if you get a behind attack, then it will be a green squir swirl, and you will get the upper leg on them. Yoshi is barking. Pokey tried edging closer to the enemy. Pokey, by the way, completely useless. He never attacks. Um, <laughs> Spiteful Crow has a big grin on his face. <laughs> Pokey apologized profusely. Good. Now, I'm looking a little bit under the weather, so I believe I'm going to eat my cookie. And, oh, another cookie. Sweet. So open this all up, go to goods. Um, this page here, the length of it is how many uh, items you can hold, and items do not stack in this game, so... It is very easy to run out of inventory space. But I just healed for eight by eating the cookie. And we're, oh, there's a snake behind me. It's you again. Hey, Cross. I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on top of the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do my job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. Mm -hmm. And look, there is, uh... There's Picky. Pokey's bro. Arr! If I knew it was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here! Well, my dog just abandoned me. Thanks a lot, Yoshi. Caution! There are still a lot of fires burning here and there. It's hot! All right, so don't touch it. That's what they're saying. What? Oh, 
You woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, <laughs> I'm glad you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. I bet Mom and Dad are worried sick about us. Jeez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Picky joins you. Picky is another character like uh, Pokey and the dog who I can't control. Cross. Do you hear a buzzing sound like a bee flying around? No. Oh, come on. You must hear it. Hear it now. A B I M. Not. I'm from ten years in the future. And, in the future, all this devastation. All is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been passed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock, and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Cross. This I believe. Gygus' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legend from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now. And do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Cross. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as you are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Cross. Looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because uh, I'm not into that kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Well, it's true, there are three of us. <laughs> so Buzz Buzz is a party member that is really powerful. They don't really explain. He says he comes from the future, but is he a fly from the future? Or did like science figure it out how to put like a human consciousness inside of a fly? Never explained. He just comes back to give a prophecy, I suppose. Clearly will be my guide forevers. He, he'll be like the Navi of our group. He'll be like, listen. And I'll be like, swat, and he'll be like, oh. Which is really what people should do to Navi. What? But I think, uh, like, the, I'm going to do this first part, and then, um, then I guess I'm going to end. Oh, jeez. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful in foiling Master Gygus' plan. But, Buzz Buzz, you must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Boss battle. Starman Jr. has blocked your way. Hmm. So, I have a few psychic powers at my disposal. <laughs> I'm going to use life up on myself. Buzz Bust, use Psy Shield uh, E. I don't know what E means. The cross is protected by a psychic shield. All of our uffs are being protected by a psychic shield. Alright, Picky attacks. Picky is uh, terrible at fighting, but he at least... Um, <laughs> Pokey smiles insincerely. He at least tries to fight. And 32, my lucky number. Alright, so he's trying uh, Psy Fire Beta. But the uh, psychic shield blocked it. 
Which is good, because I have a feeling we might have died if we didn't do it. <laughs> Sci-Fire Beta is a pretty high level spell. Buzz Buzz charged forward, 108 damage to Starman Jr. Picky attacks, 1 damage. Not quite as effectively, but again, he's trying. Unlike his stupid brother, cross attacks, 4 damage. So, you know. Bu Buzz Buzz is a guy. <laughs> Alright, so that Psychic Shield is uh, keeping us safe. From Psychic Fire. Now, if you've played, um... Again, if you've played Super Smash Brother, you'll note that, um... Uh, Ness has a bunch of psychic magical powers. He doesn't actually have uh, psychic fire in this game, but if you get one of the treasures, they explain why he's able to use it in the game. But I don't, I'm not gonna explain that right now. Starman Jr. is on guard. Buzz Buzz charges forward, 88 points of damage. Starman Jr. was defeated! Alright, 16, and we're up to level 3. Oh, baby! Defense increased by 5. Sometimes you'll get a uh, larger-than-normal boost in a stat, and it'll say, oh, baby, by that. I think it's completely random, but I'm not sure. It might be set. Whew. I was taking a big chance there. He came from 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. From now on, you'll be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble for you during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent, due to Gygus' influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. This is a problem. Can I bring Buzz Buzz to my house? Buzz, Buzz, where's Yoshi? I want to berate him. I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if anyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. Alright, fine. You're hungry already? Why don't you have some pizza? Pokey, you don't like pizza, do you? Too bad! How do you not like pizza? Are you lactose intolerant? Huh. No. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that buzzing's gonna be ever constant, isn't it? I also have to get used to it. Gotta bring the boys home. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. By the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been left. But because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finished last. That's the story of our life. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a dung beetle! I'll smash your guts out! No. Uh -oh. My husband is very soft-hearted. Uh, I'm so tired. Nag, nag, nag. <laughs> Not to... I should... B buzz, buzz? <laughs> I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See, you... Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Alright. You are a very intelligent young man, and... Oh, the pain... Everything's getting dark. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the Soundstone. 
You can record the melodies of the eight your sanctuary locations within the stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I, I'm almost gone. Uh, did you want to hear my story one more time? No. Good. <laughs> it's already dawn outside. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Yeah. <laughs> Cross got the soundstone. So Buzz Buzz is gone. We will never know about his true origin. It mentioned that he's not a hero anymore. <laughs> but, uh, so I, I doubt he was just a fly. But I don't think he realized that he literally had the body of a fly. Maybe they could only send back really small objects. Who knows? Again, we'll never know. We'll never know. Unless there's, like, auxiliary information that I don't know about. My dad really got after me. He said I get no dessert for the rest of the decade. I don't want to look at the meteorite anymore. Well, I'll understand. You're raised by weird, abusive, and neglectful parents. That are completely delusional. Also, I doubt you lent my father $100,000. So stop your crap. Plus, that's in, like, 90s money. That's a few billion dollars because of inflation. Probably not that much. Yeah. This is Onet's theme song, but, um... My mission is now clear. I... What? Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say... Fuzzy Pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Oy. So as I was saying, my mission is clear. I have to stop Gygus, who hasn't yet attacked, but within ten years the world will be devastated. And it's kind of interesting because uh, that Starman said you succeeded in stopping Master Gygus' plans. Which means, I guess the fact that he interjected already changed history, and then that Starman was from the new timeline. I should be strong enough to fight this dog myself. But, um, I believe I'm gonna end it here. On the next episode, I will be venturing into the town of Onent, the town that I live. But, uh, I think there might be some people waiting for me, and I have to be careful, because as I mentioned, I feel like this part in Onet is literally the hardest part in the game, and it's mainly just because you don't have a reliable way to heal yourself. And if you get really unlucky, there is a group of enemies that can kill you before you attack. You do have to get pretty unlucky for that to happen, but it does happen, and that's a little bit, you know... It's a little bit demoralizing when you get killed so early in the game. And there's a few, there's a few RPGs that do this where just, like, the beginning is way too difficult. Alright, so he deposited 40 into my account. Oh, he also tells you how much experience it takes to get to the next level. But then I can have him record my game. And he's thinking about going to sleep. Then I can go to end. We're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn the power off instead of just pressing reset. Alright. Now, if you hit end, the game freezes and you can't move anymore. There's no reason for this. You could just turn the game off. It's not like this is a safe shutdown. But for some reason, there's an option that just freezes your game. So, anyway, <laughs> I'm Cross Knights, and I uh, guess I'll see you all later on the next episode. Bye.